Asuka, the energetic and strong mother. Yamato, the younger brother who's always in his own little world. Follow us as we karate kick all your daily frustrations away. Asuka's revenge. I'm Kotomi and I live with my husband, Atsushi, who I've been married to for two years. My husband and I live together in a two-bedroom apartment that I inherited from my grandfather. However, when we first moved in, Atsushi... What? Ugh, oh, I don't want to live in such an old apartment. He complained. It's true that it's old having been 20 years, but it's still perfectly livable. It's only 10 minutes to the station where I work without having to change trains. And there's also a supermarket and a convenience store nearby. But, you know, living in the apartment my wife owns kind of hurts my pride as a man. Ah. Uh... And he was grumbling about it, so I tried talking about renting an apartment somewhere else and then renting this one out. But in the end, we decided to stay here because it's easy to commute to work. But I'm concerned about how old it is, so let's both work and buy a house someday. Yes, yes. Despite the problems we had at the start of our marriage, we managed to get through it and start our married life. After that, the two of us worked hard and saved up a lot of money. Look at Sushi, we've already saved up 5 million yen! Oh great! We can go on as many trips as we like and eat delicious food! What are you talking about? We're going to use this money to buy a house, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. O of course we are. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> ah. But since saving up 5 million yen, it's been hard to save any more. Wait, at sushi? What? It's good that we've saved up 5 million yen in two years, but recently you've been a little too relaxed. You're eating out and going out drinking a lot, so we're not saving much. What? I understand that you have to socialize, but you need to think about our home, too. When I tried to continue like that, Atsushi suddenly flipped out. What? Is money that important to you? What's wrong with spending a little? What? Atsushi? He got so angry so suddenly that I didn't know how to react. He continued to get angry, not even paying attention to me. We've saved up 5 million yen in two years. It's only natural for people to loosen up a little. Saving up excessively isn't good either. But we talked about buying a house together, didn't we? And it was you who complained about Grandpa's mansion. I don't mind living here as it is. So anyway, you have no right to tell me what to do! Stop talking about money every time! Uh, I felt quite bad wondering why I had to be scolded so much. However, I thought that Atsushi's argument that excessive saving would have a greater reaction in the future was also reasonable, so I decided to respect Atsushi's opinion. Since then, I have allowed Atsushi to go out for drinks and meals from time to time. A few days later, one night, late at night... I'm going out for a bit. What? It's already 10pm. Where are you going? Atsushi suddenly said he wanted to go out late at night. Oh, I'm just going for a drink. I got invited, so I'm going. But you went out for a drink on the way home today, didn't you? I don't think that's a good idea. What? Are you going to start making a fuss about money again? I'm not making a fuss. I'm worried about your health. If you go out drinking at this time of night, you'll barely make the last train too. Shut up! It's none of your business! And Atsushi stormed out. Oh no... And from that day on, he started drinking until late at night more and more often, and sometimes he didn't come home until the morning. What on earth is he doing? Could it be that he's having an affair? No, that can't be. 
I started to suspect that, but I tried to shake off the idea that my husband was having an affair. Then one day... Hello? What? Mom! I received a phone call from my father who told me that my mother had been in a car accident and was being taken to the hospital. Fortunately, she wasn't seriously injured, so I didn't have to be concerned too much, but I was still worried about her, so after work, I went to visit her at the hospital. I'm going to visit my mother, so have dinner on your own. Then add sushi. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm on a business trip today, so I won't be home. He replied, What? Business trip? Did he mention that? I did wonder about it a little, but I've been busy recently, so I thought maybe I just forgot about it and I didn't think about it too deeply. I was planning to finish work quickly and go home, but on that day, trouble occurred at work and I ended up having to work overtime. <sighs> I'm not going to make it to the Shinkansen in time now. In the end, I gave up visiting my mother that day and decided to go the next day, so I went straight home. What? However, when I returned home to the apartment, I noticed that the lights were on. Since Atsushi said he was on a business trip, I thought he just forgot to turn them off. And I went into the room normally, but... Hmm? Something instinctive made me slowly open the front door and go inside. Atsushi? Are you here? When I quietly opened the door to the living room... What? What? Katomi! Why? What? What? My husband and a woman were doing the deed. What are you doing? No, um, this is, uh... Atsushi and the woman hid their bodies in a panic. What are you doing? Weren't you on a business trip today? Weren't you supposed to go visit your mother too? I gave up because I had to work late, and I come home to this? What's going on? <sighs> the woman was silent. I don't know her, but I feel like I've seen her somewhere before. Who is she? she she's none of your business. Huh? How can she be none of my business when she's having an affair in someone else's house? Who is she? Explain properly. Uh. Hey, show me your face properly. When I looked at her face after saying that, ah! I was surprised to see that the other woman was Takano Reiko, a popular announcer who reads the news on TV at night. Y you're the local announcer. Even though she's just a local TV announcer, she's well known in this area. Why is Atsushi having an affair with someone so famous? Then Atsushi... She's a classmate of mine from high school. Uh? That's the first I've heard of it. I had no idea that the beautiful TV announcer I always see on TV was a classmate of my husband's. Were you always having a relationship like this? No! It was at a class reunion the other day that we met up again after a long time. And from there... <sighs> Even if she's just a local TV announcer, she's well known in this area and appears on TV. Why is a beautiful woman like that having an affair with a man like this? Please, don't tell anyone about this. Huh? What a thing to say! This woman who was having an affair herself was begging me for such a thing? Uh, don't be ridiculous! It was me who was cheated on! Why should I be listening to you? Of, of course, I'm well aware that we're in the wrong, but I also have a job and a reputation to consider. I couldn't believe that was the attitude of someone who had made a mistake, and I was surprised by her words. D how can you say that, doing something like this in someone else's house? That's why I apologized and I said I'm sorry. 
Do you think that will be enough? Well, that's... She was at a loss for words. Anyway, I want to talk to my husband now, so can you leave? Y yes When I said that, she looked a little relieved and she packed her things and left the house. <laughs> anyway, could you explain from the beginning? <laughs> that night, my husband explained the situation to me again and we discussed what to do from now on. I can't continue living with you after being made to see that scene. It's a divorce. No, I'm sorry. I was wrong. Can you forgive me this time? I can't. If I forgive you this time, there'll be another time, right? Uh. And I can't believe you did that in the house my grandpa offered. Uh. At first, he was reluctant to get a divorce, but when I honestly expressed how hurt I felt, he understood and agreed to the divorce. Of course, I also demanded alimony and I received the entire 5 million yen that we had saved, but at the very end... Please, please keep this a secret for Reiko. She had worked so hard to finally get the job of announcer, and I can't let that be ruined by something like this. This guy also begged me. God, even you? Then you should have never done this in the first place, you idiot! I know I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Ugh. I was so angry that all I could do was be stunned. I felt pathetic for making a vow that I would spend my life with a man like this. Of course, I couldn't forgive her either, and I wanted to make her suffer with my own hands, but then things took a sudden turn. Hmm? I was casually looking at my phone when I got a notification from the news app at the top of the screen. Announcer Reiko Takano's affair report. Is this... When I pressed the notification, it was an online article that revealed Reiko, who is usually pure and serious as she works on news programs, having relationships with multiple men. What? That person? Besides Atsushi? Thinking about this, I looked at the trending topics on social and her name was already trending. She was an announcer and had a reputation for being pure, so the reaction to this has been quite large. As I was looking at the posts about her in social media, I got a call. At Sushi? It was my ex-husband at Sushi. I had a pretty good idea of what it was about from the timing. What? What do you mean, what? I asked you so many times, but you leaked it to the weekly magazine, didn't you? He directed his anger at me, but... You know what? I'm sorry, but it wasn't me. I didn't tell anyone a single word. Of course, I wanted to, but I'm not that kind of person, so I gave up and I didn't say anything. Then who did? Did you read the article? It was amazing! It said that she was having relationships with multiple men. I bet a lot of women hated her. I think the weekly magazine had been keeping tabs on her for quite a while, so even if I didn't leak the information, her misdeeds were bound to be exposed to the world. Screw you! For some reason, he got angry at me. <laughs> Why are you mad at me? You're getting mad at the wrong person. I didn't do anything, and if anything, I'm the victim. <sighs> Well, why don't you just get along with her? I don't know what will happen to her career as an announcer, though. Hey, wait! Uh, Katomi! He was saying something, but I hung up on him. After that, Reiko was apparently dropped from her regular position on the evening news program she was in charge of due to the large number of criticisms she received from the public. That's only natural. 
After that, I received a few messages online from Atsushi. Katomi, please, will you give me another chance? I've already reflected on my actions. I won't complain about your grandfather's apartment. Please, reconsider. <laughs> it was a message about getting back together. However, no, please don't send me any more line messages. I sent him a message to that effect and blocked his line. By the way, I was thinking of living in the apartment I inherited from my grandfather on my own after the divorce. But I didn't want to continue living in a place that Atsushi was using as a hotel with that woman. So I sold the place. I used the money from that sale and the 5 million yen I received from the divorce to move to a higher grade mansion. It's a bit of a stretch, but as long as I work hard every day, I'll be fine. I ended up in this situation because of a stupid man and woman, but now that I'm alone, I think I'm happy enough. <laughs> so I think it was for the best. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. See you next time.